Mr. Wade here and Mrs. Crime. We are here at a new cemetery called Cliffside Cemetery. Now it's way up here in the Clackamas County, Mount Hood, almost near the Mount Hood Mountain. We didn't think we was going this far, but okay. So what brings us here today is a story about a guy post his name because you know Mr. Wade is bad with names. Now, we're going to go see a female or find her grave. Now, what happened was this guy happened to be, I would say, in his 20s. He worked in uh, the city of Gresham at a gas station, a fill-up station that does trucks and does propane and stuff like that well-known station out there. I heard they tore down that building. Now, anyways, it was him and I think four, three to four other workers. So basically what he did was he was working there. He decided to take about $50 from the door. Ching, ching, right? So I guess he thought no one would catch that or it wouldn't be much of a problem. So he got suspended. They found out he stole money, which... You're thieving, right? So they suspended him. So he gets mad about that, right? So he decides to go get two accomplices, his friends. They go back to this gas station. <coughs> Excuse me. And his co-workers, he walked in with his two accomplices. And what he did was he shot all three all three women in there he shot and killed them all in the head and he stole a total of nine thousand dollars from the place i'm gonna put the name of the place up here you know since i'm telling this story graphic story so he shot all three point blank in the head and stole nine thousand dollars from the drawer or safe was ever inside the station now they took off Okay, so he got word that the two accomplices were captured by the police and questioned, and he got word that they told everything that happened. So he got scared, of course, right? And he just vanished. You know, they had descriptions of how he looked. I have a photo of him. I'm post that on here. I have uh, different things about the nature of the incident that happened or murderistic thing that happened here with his killing spree at the at the station. They tore down. They tore down that whole building, like I said before. So there's no building there. Um, so right now we're here to find her grave and give her respect. She was one of the females that was executed or shot in the head by this guy whom has never been seen ever since. I don't know how far you can get off of $9,000, but obviously they can't find this guy. Uh, they know he has a distinguished look. Uh, a lot of women say he's very handsome, of course. Um, a lot of uh, speculation they have seen him, but he's never been captured. And the date that this happened, I'm not going to say the date, but the date that this happened and the time frame has been years. They have not seen this guy. So he's been murder unsolved for years. So we're out here at the Cliffside Cemetery and I hope you guys enjoy the footage of the cemetery and us, me and Mrs. Crime, finding that grave site. Stay tuned for a lot more. As you see Mrs. Crime over there walking around, taking her photos, doing what she does, you know. Once again, stay tuned for uh, Whisper Moments 39. 38 is up live on our video channel, Tombstone Whispers. If you haven't checked it out, please check it out now. Right now we're at Cliffside Cemetery. 
We are looking for a grave of a female that definitely got had her life ended by this individual that I explained. Uh, his name is posted and just weird and narcissistic how things happen. This guy was pretty much just took $50 from the, from the, from the register. Thought that was nothing. So if he steal from somewhere, what happens? <laughs> you get caught, you get fired. Probably get some jail time here and there if they really want to prosecute him. But he came back pissed off and decided to kill the workers and shoot them all execution style. It's still $9,000. And he's been missing ever since. He's never been caught. But the two guys, accomplices, of course, they were caught. But he's Houdini. There you go, a real life Houdini, right? So we are looking for her grave and me and Mrs. Prime will find it. Stay tuned. We're at the Cliffside Cemetery. Okay, Mr. Wade, back at the cemetery here uh, at Cliffside Hill, Cliff Hill Cemetery, Cliffside Hill. I need to get it right, right? Anyways, back to the story. So, for those of you just joining in, we are here to visit a grave of a female that was murdered by a guy and two accomplices at a gas station. Now, the two accomplices were also captured and they were questioned, which made the main guy run off off the maps will not be seen again that's been some years so i have now found miss rosalie's grave we are here to give respect to miss rosalie who lost her life to this man here so i'm gonna show you her grave and to give miss rosalie some respect stay tuned This is the grave of Rosalie Faye Gertz. September 17th, 1942 to January 17th, 1994. This is the grave of Rosalie Faye Gertz, who was murdered by a co-worker that stole $50 from the register and was suspended, came back, killed her and two other females at the gas station, stole $9,000 with her accomplice, and has never been seen yet since the date of 1994. Rosalie Fagert, tombstone wish of respect, beautiful grave, and to your family and everybody else. We Condolences, and it's a shame how things like this happen. Rosalie Fay Gertz, the respect.